Hello everyone, welcome once more to Mathematics Pro. So today we are going to calculate the volume and surface area of this composite shape. Initially we knew that the volume is the same as base area. We calculate the area of the base times the height. So one of the most difficult thing is to identify the base. But the base of a solid shape has two faces that are identical. So we can see this blue section is identical to this other blue section. So this section is called the base. So this is our base. Next to identify the height if I flatten this shape. So we are going to have the base times the height. So this section of our solid shape is called the height. So let us continue by calculating the volume and the surface area. Welcome to Mathematics Pro. So today we are going to calculate the volume and surface area of a staircase pyramid. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do in this type of question is to identify the base area. So for prism, all prisms have identical base. So the, this base here is the same as the base here. So this implies this is our base. So to calculate the volume, volume is base area times the height. So let us calculate the base area first. So to calculate the base area, we can separate these into three rectangles. So our first rectangle, we have the dimension two and six. So that is what we have here, two and six. So two times six is 12. Then this one here, we have two, yeah, it's three plus one is four. So our rectangle will be three and four. So if we have two and four, sorry. So our rectangle here, so the area here is four. So we are going to have eight. And lastly, the last rectangle will be equals to one and three. So one and three. So that will give us three. One times three is three. So we need to add them up to get the base area. So the base area will be equals to, if we add 12 plus eight is 20. We have 23. So the base area is 23. So let's go back to our formula. Volume is base area times the height. So the volume is equal to the base area. The base area is 23 times the height. Now to identify if this is the base area. So this will be the height of the prism. This is 10. You can see this is the height. So we have 10. 10 is the height of the prism, so here will be 10. If we multiply it together, we are going to have 230 centimeter cube. So this is the volume. So let us continue with the surface area. So for surface area, for the surface area, surface area, we can use this formula, base area, we can write two, there are two bases, two times the base area, perimeter of the base, times the height of the prism. So we calculated the base area. So the base area gave us 23 already. So no need to calculate it anymore. So we have our base area is 23. So what we need to do is to calculate the perimeter of the base because we know the height, so we need to calculate the perimeter of the base. The perimeter is the total distance around. So calculating the perimeter of the base, so we can see here we have six, this is it, two, and we have another two here, and here is three, and we have seven. So we need to add all of these to get the perimeter. So the perimeter, if we add it, we are going to have 6 plus 
three, be very plus two, be very careful. Six plus two, plus two, plus two, plus three, plus three, plus one, and plus seven. Okay, so the perimeter is the total distance around 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 and plus 7. So we have the perimeter. So if we add this up, this will give us 10. And if we add this and this will give us 10 as well. We'll be left with... 5 plus 1 which is 6 so if we add them up we are going to have the perimeter is 26 so now we have all what is needed to calculate the surface area surface area is equals to 2 times the base area plus perimeter of the base times the height so this will be 2 times 23 plus perimeter of the base gave us 26 times the height the height is 10 so if we multiply this we are going to have 46 plus 260 so if we add them up we are going to have 306 so this will give us 3 hundred and six centimeters square thanks for watching please subscribe